Iggory Hedgehog and Felicity Fieldmouse. When Iggory Hedgehog wanted to look different just once. Iggory Hedgehog sat on the bank of a stream that meandered through the orchard. Nearby, a small flock of sheep ate grass under the trees. The trees were in full bloom and rays of sunshine danced on the water. Iggory was thirsty and went to the shallows to drink from the clear, fresh water. Then he saw his reflection in the stream, his hedgehog eyes, his hedgehog nose, his hedgehog paws and his hedgehog spikes. Iggory stroked his spikes and admired himself. Some waves reached the bank and rippled Iggory's reflection. His spikes weren't straight anymore. They were wavy. Iggory was amazed. He'd never seen himself look so different. As the waves faded away, Iggory's spikes were straight again. Iggory sat dreamily on the bank. How would it be, he thought, just for once to look totally different? A little less spiky, maybe a bit wavy. But how could Iggory do that? He put his paws into the stream and splashed some water onto his spikes. This made some waves and Iggory's reflection was wavy again. But no sooner was the water calm, Iggory was back to being spiky and covered in water. He shook himself until the drops flew in all directions. Hey! called out a surprised mouse. I didn't plan to take a shower. What are you doing? Are you playing at being a fountain? Iggory looked around. Oh, it's you. Hello, Felicity Field Mouse. I don't want to look so spiky anymore. I want to be wavy. Do you have an idea how I can do that? Iggory blurted out. Not with water, that's for sure, said Felicity. Where did you get such a beautiful soft fur? Iggory asked. All field mice are like that, answered Felicity, deep in thought. I don't know why. You're a hedgehog. That's why you've got spikes. But I don't want to be spiky all the time, complained Iggory and stamped away in disgust. At that moment, a gentle breeze blew some petals down from the orchard. Iggory and Felicity were covered in them. Felicity crawled out from under the petals and saw a completely unrecognizable Iggory. He stood totally still. He was covered with pink petals. How do I look? he asked excitedly. Like a pink cloud, laughed Felicity. Iggory looked at his reflection in the water and hardly recognized himself. He really did look like a giant pink blossom with four paws. Iggory did not like it at all. That was not how he'd imagined himself changing. He shook himself hard until all the petals flew off. A tissue! A tissue! There's so many petals in the air today. I hope I didn't disturb you. I'm thirsty. May I introduce myself? I'm Shona, said a beautiful woolly sheep as she began to drink from the stream. Iggory and Felicity watched in surprise. The sheep normally stayed in their flock in the orchard. Finally, Shona's sheep had drunk enough and turned to go back to her flock. But before she could leave, Iggory quickly said, Shona, wait a moment. Please tell me where you got your wonderful soft coat. Shona thought hard for a moment. From my parents, she finally answered. All the sheep in our flock have one. Why do you ask? He doesn't want to be spiky anymore, giggled Felicity Fieldmouse. Strange idea, said Shona's sheep. That would be like me not wanting to be woolly anymore. Iggory stamped his feet in annoyance. The pink petals on the ground flew around. A tissue! A tissue! sneezed Shona's sheep again. Stop it! Stop stamping your feet! 
shouted Felicity Fieldmouse. I just thought of something. Iggory calmed down and listened. Shorter sheep, said Felicity. You have a lot of wool on your back. Yes, I do, answered Shona. In fact, I'm a bit too warm. You see, Felicity went on, if you give Iggory some of your wool, we can make him a wig. Iggory's eyes gleamed with happiness. No problem, said Shona Sheep, and she lay down on the grass at the edge of the stream, and Iggory brushed her fleece with his spikes until they were full of wool. He looked at himself in the water and was delighted. Thank you, Shona Sheep, said Iggory as they parted. You're welcome, Shona smiled to herself. Something woolly, a bit soft, and a bit wavy suits even the most spiky hedgehog. See you later. And she went back to her flock in the orchard. Felicity looked at Iggory and had to chuckle at the sight of a fluffy hedgehog. Iggory Hedgehog and Felicity, these two are the very best of friends. Looking for adventure, laughing happily, and for them the pleasure never ends. Looking for adventure, laughing happily, and for them the pleasure never ends.